Starlink Report. This is the Starlink Report. I'm Huey Poplock. SpaceX launched 54 more Starlink Internet satellites Saturday, December 17th from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida using a Falcon 9 booster on its 15th flight to space, a record for the company's reusable rocket fleet. After the Wednesday, December 28, 2022 mission, SpaceX has launched 3,666 Starlink satellites on more than 60 Falcon 9 rocket missions, including prototypes and failed spacecraft. The company currently has more than 3,200 functioning Starlink satellites in space, with about 3,000 operational and nearly 200 moving into their operational orbits. SpaceX is more than halfway complete with deploying the initial fleet of 4,400 Starlink Internet satellites. The company has approval from the Federal Communication Commission to eventually launch and operate up to 12,000 Starlink spacecraft, and SpaceX has signaled it could aim to fly as many as 42,000 Starlink satellites in orbit. SpaceX is deploying an upgraded, much larger Starlink satellite design sized to launch on the company's huge next-generation Starship rocket. The 54 satellites launched on December 28th were the first spacecraft deployed into a new segment of the Starlink constellation. The Falcon 9 rocket released the 54 satellites for use by SpaceX's second generation Starlink network, which the company eventually intends to launch on the new Starship mega rocket. These Starlink satellites are similar in size to SpaceX's existing Starlink spacecraft and not the larger Gen 2 satellites destined to fly on the huge new Starship rocket or even the mini Gen 2 satellites. There were 54 satellites on the Falcon 9 launcher, which were the same number of SpaceX has launched on many recent Starlink missions. The Federal Communication Commission granted SpaceX approval December 1st to launch up to 7,500 of its planned 29,988 spacecraft Starlink Gen 2 constellation. The regulatory agency deferred a decision on the remaining satellites SpaceX proposed for Gen 2. The unparalleled success of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket has helped Elon Musk's aerospace firm deploy a mega constellation of Starlink satellites in just a few years. The service has been available for consumers for several years and speeds were impressive at launch, but it's slowing down as more users get on the network. SpaceX's solution was to implement a one terabyte data cap. They were supposed to go into effect in December. According to an update on SpaceX's website, the fair use policy will now go into effect February 2023. SpaceX has revealed the official details of its Starlink satellite internet service for aviation, and it promises to deliver speeds of up to 350 megabits per second for each airplane. Delta conducted exploratory tests of Starlink's internet technology for its planes. Hawaiian Airlines also announced that it will start deploying Starlink Internet with select aircraft in 2023. Shortly after that, and after launching Starlink for RVs, the Federal Communications Commission authorized the company to provide satellite Internet services to vehicles. Even if you have no plans to use Starlink as your home Internet provider, you will soon be able to use the service's satellites with your smartphone. T-Mobile President and CEO Mike Sievert announced back in August that the mobile carrier would begin working together with SpaceX 
on a plan to provide its customers with text coverage everywhere in the continental U.S. Likewise, Elon Musk revealed in a post on Twitter that he had discussions with Apple about using Starlink satellite service on the iPhone. This makes a lot of sense, especially now that the iPhone 14 includes a new emergency SOS via satellite feature. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched 40 satellites into orbit for OneWeb, which is developing and deploying a constellation of hundreds of satellites in low Earth orbit for low latency broadband communications. This was the second launch of the OneWeb satellite with SpaceX and OneWeb's 16th launch overall. The Falcon 9's first stage booster returned to landing zone one at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Liftoff took place on Thursday, December 8, 2022. OneWeb satellites separated successfully from the rocket and were dispensed in three phases over a period of one hour and 35 minutes with signal acquisition on all 40 satellites confirmed. The company emerged from bankruptcy proceedings and reorganization in November 2020 with a new ownership group. As of 2021, Indian multinational company Bharti Global, France-based satellite service provider EU Telsat, and the government of the United Kingdom were the company's largest shareholders while Japan's SoftBank retained an equity holding of 12%. OneWeb returns to the launch pad in early 2023 to launch its Three to Global Reality campaign that will deliver its final satellites into its low Earth orbit constellation and activate coverage solutions globally. The war in Ukraine negatively affected a key launch competitor, of SpaceX, the Russian Soyuz. OneWeb was forced to cancel planned launches of its satellite constellation aboard the Soyuz and book flights aboard the Falcon 9. The first OneWeb flight took place, as I said, in December, with more planned for 2023. So what's ahead for Starlink in 2023? The second generation Starlink satellites will soon be flying in large numbers in 2023 and beyond. According to the latest available information, there are three variances of the Starlink V2 satellites. Other Starlink V2 configurations include a larger one that can still fly on the Falcon 9, but with fewer satellites being flown on a given mission. A third configuration is meant exclusively for the Starship flights, and these satellites are expected to start flying once a successful orbital test flight is achieved. And this has been the Starlink Report. I'm Huey Poplock.